you look to the center of the screen, you can see the way the products are mounted on a DIN rail, just like our other products, and how the line is architected. The I.O. wiring will drop in from the top and from the bottom uh, to the modules, and the power to the products are landed on the top of the modules. Also, power is uh, redundant with this product family. You can land power down at the DIN rail, uh, we ship every unit with a little, it's a plastic DIN rail connector piece that fits onto the DIN rail and then the module sort of plugs into it, and a power bus can be built along the DIN rail. So if the customers want, they could land power on every module and land power on the power bus, creating a redundant power scheme. So that's a newer feature with this newer package. This new line of Ethernet Remote I.O. has USB configuration for all the I.O. and the ranges. You'll be, it, uh, off the top and the bottom, you have front-facing, pluggable screw terminals that you get when you order the module. So with a voltmeter, could walk up to the unit with the, their test probes and check out their inputs, their outputs, and the power on the unit very easily. So that's new. and that's Now, this unit's mounted on a DIN rail, and as I already mentioned, in the back, it's not quite shown in this picture, but in the back, every unit is shipped with a bus power connector that snaps onto the rail that allows customers that are using two or more modules to begin to plug them together, and these modules can touch by the way, uh, plug them together down at the rail so they can build a power bus. Then if they want to take advantage of that power bus, they just buy one little optional kit that includes three pieces, uh, two screw terminals that go onto each end of the power bus, bus, and a spare piece that goes in the middle if they need one. It's just a low-cost kit with two screw to pluggable screw terminals that go on either end of the power bus, so that allows a customer to land power down at the rail. But that's a great feature. You know, 12-volt power for solar applications, if you need it, the, family has, uh, the product line has it, and it's got bus power down at the rail that customers that are very concerned about an application might want redundant power. And that's a great feature in the line. They can land it down at the bus and on the module. If they lose one power source, the other power source or the higher power, excuse me, if they lose the higher power source, the lower power source will automatically kick in. That's the way it works. But anyway, packaging has redundant bus power down at the rail. Okay, PC interface. You'll notice um, we, We've got Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and we should have added Windows 8. These are all USB configured off the front using a Windows-based operating system, XP, Vista, 7, and, and including Windows 8. This line uses USB to configure the modules with here. These modules do have a built-in web page that you can get to, but we don't use the web page to configure the module and view the I.O. We use the local USB port to do that. Under the performance, there are, uh, on the specification side, this whole line is designed minus 40 to 70 degrees C operating. Uh, looking right off of the unit, you see two Ethernet ports. This, those two Ethernet ports allow users who are using more than one module in a zone to eliminate the need for a five-port switch in the zone because they can daisy-chain the modules at the Ethernet port level. So not only are these units thinner than the existing bus works, they eliminate the need for a local switch because you can daisy-chain these. The Acromag is saving panel space, eliminating the cost of a switch, and reducing the cost per channel uh, with this new line where the benefit. As many of you might know, on an Ethernet network, uh, any appliances that are connected to an Ethernet network, as the traffic on the network increases more and more, the Ethernet devices can tend to lose their connections and lose their you know, sockets on the network, and things begin to collapse. In fact, if somebody wants to shut down a network, they don't have to send through a virus. They could just add traffic to a network to sort of collapse it. Well, priority channel technology is a uh, trademarked, patented technology that says if uh, the I.O. device detects that the master wants an update every 10 milliseconds, for example, the, the I.O. device will guarantee an update will get through every 10 milliseconds, uh, regardless of the traffic on the network. Uh, so these devices, we all know that Ethernet network itself is not considered a deterministic 
network because of collisions and things. But this technology makes Acromax I.O. devices more deterministic. In fact, it makes them deterministic. And this technology is included on the Modbus protocol, the Ethernet IP, and the Profinet. 